Rings of Power Episode 3, now out on Amazon Prime for you guys to go and check out. I'm going to tell you guys my thoughts on this episode, but let me know in the comments below what did you guys all think about Episode 3. Did you love it? Did you hate it? Smash it down below, smash that like button, click subscribe, and let's get into this review of Episode 3 of The Rings of Power. Without it, what am I to be? Okay, so we're three episodes into the new Lord of the Rings series, The Rings of Power. I'm not the biggest fan of episode one. I thought episode two was a big upgrade compared to episode one. So it's going in to episode three, hoping we were going to get more of the episode two that we got. But unfortunately for me, episode three suffers from the same mistakes that episode one made. It just felt very flat. Like this episode was super, super flat for me. And why was that flat? Look, I am someone that can really enjoy a slow burn. I really enjoy a slow burn. I understand Lord of the Rings is a slow burn sort of type of content. But there's a difference between a slow burn and just being very, very slow. And I feel like episode three does the same problems that episode one had, where it lingers in scenes that it doesn't need to linger anymore. Now, you're going to hear a lot of people compare this to House of the Dragon because they're both going out and they're both in like very similar world sort of things. But if you go to House of the Dragon, when they're in a the scene, they get to the point of the scene, boom, we're on to the next scene. Here, it feels like, boom, I've got the point of the scene and then they just linger and just stay there. And it's like, mm, you're dragging this out that it doesn't need to be dragged out. Like, you can tighten this up. I don't need to be here with the Harfoots constantly like, a minute after the scene was supposed to end. Like, that's the problem that I have with this episode, is it's just so freaking damn slow. It's taking so long to get going. By the time we get into certain things, you're kind of sitting there like, are we going to get there yet? And that's a problem. And that's what I had a major issue with, with episode one, was it was too slow. It was always lingering. And it just never got anywhere. Where episode 2, on the other hand, actually started to move the pieces forward and started to drip the sto story forward to where we were like, okay, now I've got an idea what's going on, where we're we going, what are the character motives, who's playing what, doing what. Episode 3 just doesn't capitalize on that and then continue on. It just stops and it goes back again. We're, we're spending time trying to develop these storylines, but they're not developing. It's stagnant. This this episode for me is stagnant in the story. I am no closer to where I think we're going to go or where, where we should be going than I was in episode two. I mean, we spent the whole entire episode on this island where she's trying to discover things that it never pushed forward. We're just getting introduced to new characters. Like, I get that. You want to introduce new characters, that's cool, but there's a way to do it. And I feel like just introducing them and then spending a whole half episode on these characters, getting their backstories and stuff like that, isn't progressing the story forward at all. I want to know what's going on with Elrond. What, what's going on with him and what's going on with the dwarves? Like, how's that communication going? But we didn't get anything to do with that in this episode. Nothing. We got a bit of the hair, the Harfoots and the guy that fell from the stars. We got some more stuff on him, but it didn't really progress the story at all like it just i don't know i kind of like we finally got to the point where they're moving now they're finally leaving their little area that they were and they're moving on to the next pasture or whatever you want to call it so we got some movement with them but we didn't it took a long long time to get to that point and that's just like what i just don't understand like why are we taking so long i we, we didn't get we got also got the the uh, Dark Elf, in with the Orcs, them fighting, and like, that was a cool, cool action sequences, it was all cool and all, but it, did it progress the story, did it progress anything, no, it didn't show us like, why the Orcs are doing this, what, what's their plan, we got nothing to do with that, we just keep digging, look, you're, you're in a concentration camp, dig, where, where, where are we digging, like, there's nothing like them trying to figure out where this tunnel is going, how are we going to stop it? They decide we're just going to get out of here and try and run and flee and get an army. I mean, you, you don't think the orcs have it surrounded? Like, that's kind of like what you think, they're just sitting in the tunnels? I mean, it's just, I don't know. 
I don't know. I still have hope for this series. I really do still have hope because I really enjoyed episode two. I really did. And I really enjoy Elrond. I really enjoy him a lot. He's my favorite character and I'm, I'm very sad that we didn't get any of it in this episode. So that's a bummer for me. As for the whole people going in on this because it doesn't follow Tolkien's writing or the lore and everything that he has created or anything like that. Look, I've never read any of the books. I've never read any of his books, so I have no freaking idea what the lore is or anything like that. For me, personally, it's not a huge thing if it's not true to the books or anything like that. I, I really don't care because the books are the books. The show and the movies are their, their, their own thing. It's a bit like the MCU. You have the comics and you have the MCU. They're two completely different things. One just borrows source material from the others and adapts it and changes it. That's fine. I have no problems with that. If you're a Tolkien purist or whatever and you don't like the show because it doesn't follow the law, cool, that's that's your problem. For me, I don't really care. It doesn't bother me at all if it breaks the law from the books or anything like that because, like I said, they're separate to me. And I don't tend on plan on reading the books at all. As for the show so far, we got two misses and a hit. It's not quite what I was hoping it was going to be. I still, if comparing it to House of Dragon, House of Dragon has had three massive hits. And I feel like their writing is better at this point in time than this Lord of the Rings show. I just think it's tighter. Its pacing is a hell of a lot better than this one. And it's progressing at a good, good pace to where I understand where the story is going. And I understand which characters. And when we do get introduced to new characters in House of Dragon, we don't just spend our whole half episode on them. When it doesn't push anything forward. We go, here, here's a new character. It's a little bit about him. Boom, on to the next scene. Where I feel like Lord of the Rings, they're just sitting there. And it's like they're like, yo, we got we just gotta over explain and over indulge this scene and these characters. And that to me is a problem. So overall, I'm not the biggest fan of episode three. It's a bit of a miss. But I still have hope. Still have hope because episode two was good and I really enjoyed that. I still have hope now that episode four is gonna be are much better than episode three and one. And it's going to be more along the lines of episode two. So, But I'm still interested in it. So let me know in the comments below. What did you guys think of this episode? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Smash it down below. Smash that like button. Click subscribe. And I'll see you guys next video. Until then, stay safe. Peace out.